You're watching Harrowood TV, part of the Harrowood Media Group. Evie will now come on and tell us the latest. Well, now we've got another student of mathematics this time. We've got Duncan Green and he's Peterborough, born and bred as well. So we've got Duncan Green. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Evie. Duncan, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Right. So, t tell me, what, why are you following the route that you are in, in education at the moment? Well, I've enjoyed it so far, and in mathematics it's more you learn extra step and extra step and extra step. And I've always been wanting to know the next bit. It's always intrigued me to know how far can I go, and what can I know, what can I work out. And it's always kind of, it's my love to go and find out what other people don't know and what I can do, really. Sounds good to me, sounds good to me. So we'll go on another set of questions now. Um, and again, we're talking about time. Harrywood Television is now on air. You've uh, got your own show. So tell me all about the show. What's it about? What type of genre is it? And what will you be doing within that? Well, in Peter, I've been quite involved with the sports community, with local sports, cycling, football, and other sports as well in the local community. So I'd kind of have features on the littler sports teams, not the major sports or the big teams with big money, the little stories and what they actually mean in the local communities and how they're helping with charity events and stuff like that. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. That's a different angle, not football specifically. No. Uh, any sports now. I was involved in the cycling community around Peterborough and all the clubs got together, did charity events and helped local communities for different reasons. Uh, many did quite a lot of cancer research funding to help a few members of the clubs who had cancer. So it's all kind of helping them all. Yeah. That's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. Right. I mean, in terms of television as it exists out there in the landscape at the moment, if you could push somebody off air and take over their show, who would it be and why? Um, going back to the sports, really, it was something like Match of the Day, Gary Lineker, the inspiration, the way he keeps the audience very interactive with the actual program itself and he in general one of the best presenters i think because he helps people link and relate and then was a very funny person and person i look up to a lot sounds good to me sounds good to me now we've given you an interview gig you got an interview gig on heroin tv you can choose anyone living or dead for you to interview so tell me who would it be and why uh still living uh, sir chris hoy up from Glasgow because I've seen him a few times and met him quite a few times and I know the work he does up and around the Glasgow areas I'm from Scotland my family all from Scotland and the, I know the amount of work he does in the local areas and I just want to see how he feels about it and how it helps him as a person to develop and help other people okay okay that's good stuff so uh, one final question goodness me it goes so quickly Heriwood Television is looking to be the local TV service for Greater Peterborough and the Fenlands. So, why does the, the, our area deserve local TV? I've been in Peterborough all my life and there's so many little things that don't get captured by the mainstream television and that really should be seen by other people around, not just East Anglia, but the entire country, if anything. I mean, from where I used to work, the amount of charity and fundraising that went on, that just went completely unseen. And really, they should be put on the spotlight and people should see what Peterborough is doing for the local area and other areas as well. Well, that's certainly something we're wishing to achieve. Right, Duncan, this will be down the lens of camera one for a bit of variety. Uh, what I want you to do is basically say who you are and that you're reporting for Heriwood TV at the Peterborough Beer Festival. Deep breath, ready, ready, ready. Here we go. I'm Duncan Green and I'm reporting here from the Peterborough Beer Festival 2015 and for Heriwood Radio. TV, we'll try it again, shall we? Take two, this is the good thing about it sort of uh, being live but pre-recorded for later. Right, <laughs> Heriwood TV, Peterborough Beer Festival. Right, right, here we go. And action. My name is Duncan Green. I'm here reporting for Herod TV at the Peter Beer Festival 2015. That's the smasher. Thank you, Duncan. We have right. our next uh, volunteer. volunteer. Evie, who is it? It's a volunteer this time. This time we've got Ralph Adams, Peterborough born and bred, and he's a student in economics. So we've got some brains. Right. Let me just write that name down again. Ralph Adams. 
Ralph, if you take the centre seat, sorry, there we go. Right then, welcome along. Nice to see you. Right, so tell me, tell me, tell me, what encouraged you to follow the vocation in education that you're following? Well, generally, I just find it kind of interesting to learn about different things that are going on or things that have happened in the past and things like that. So it's quite an interesting subject of economics. You learn about kind of the wider scale that macroeconomics, you learn about kind of the European Union, for example. And then you learn about the microeconomics, which is the businesses and things like that as well. So overall, I just find it interesting to learn how things happen, essentially. European Union. I always ask people about the European Union. Can you tell me why there are 12 stars on the flag? Um, no. It's, a, it's worth looking up, I tell you, or Google it, it's quite amazing. Anyway, and yes, Doomwatch is coming back, watch for it in September. Anyway, your questions now, hopefully you've been briefed on the questions here. So, we're, we're looking to a time in the future, Heriwood Television is on air, we're broadcasting, you're in charge of your own show. So tell me, what is the show about, and what can we expect from it, what will you be doing in it, etc, etc. Uh, let's see. Well, as kind of an economist, we'd have something like, like kind of like news night, but we'd have it more of like a topical spin-off. So things like comedy as well. We'd analyse different news, a bit of mocking it perhaps. And there, I'd be of the host, of course. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well, I mean, this is sounding like a revival of that was the w the week that was, which was in the early sixties. Look it up. It's a fantastic show. So, I mean, in terms of people you admire on television, if you could push someone off air now and take their place, who would it be and why? Uh, well, kind of as a sports fan, I kind of really admire the commentary work of like, Murray Walker and things like that, so he was broadcasting for long before I was born especially, and his commentary on the Formula 1 was very good indeed, so I pretty much admire him, so perhaps I'll take his job maybe. Okay, okay. Now, the other, the other question we have, uh, revi reviving people, we're giving you a chance to interview now. In the studio, you can interview anyone you like, living or dead. So, who would it be and why? Um, well, I like ACDC and their music quite a lot, and I think Bon Scott was taken from us far too early. So, I'd perhaps interview him and kind of see where his writing came from and his influence and see where kind of the idea of ACDC came from. I just love some of the answers to these questions that we're getting. It's an absolute mix here, superb. Right, final question then, the final set question. Talking about launching Heriwood Television, local TV for Greater Peterborough and the Fenland area. Do you think the area deserves its own TV station and why? Uh, definitely. I mean, it's a growing city. It's got good cultural diversity. There's, you know, new houses being built. More people are going to move to this city. It's a, you know, great central hub for the England. So I think definitely, yeah, something that can focus on the local affairs and everything. That's a great idea. Well, that has been terrific, Ralph. Now, if you look down camera two, what I want you to do now is what everyone does. Say who you are and that you've been presenting for Heriwood TV at the Peterborough Beer Festival. Are you ready? Deep breath. Okay, here we go. This is Ralph Adams presenting for Heriwood TV from the Peterborough Beer Festival 2015. Fantastic. Thank you very much, sir. I'll just go and grab a badge. Ooh. So, my glamorous assistant here is here with our next volunteer. Tell me more. Alex, we now have Johnny Bin Bags. He's from Peterborough and he makes things from bin bags. Uh, he also does um, theatre group and designing. Johnny, come and sit down. Come and sit down. Right, that's an intriguing sort of CV that we had there. So, so what, what got you into making your own clothes? Um, I just like recycling. I hate wastage of any sort. So if I find a carrier bag on the floor in the street, I will pick it up and I will make, say, a purse or a phone case out of it. Now, is this unique or have you been inspired by uh, other creative people in, in this respect? Um, just I was inspired by my mother as a child. She taught me to knit and tried to teach me to crochet, but I was rubbish as a younger child. But as I grew up, I learned how to hold the tension um, and then got the idea of using recycled things to utilise what my mum had taught me. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. We're on to the set questions now. So we're imagining you to envisage Heroid Television being on broadcast television on Virgin Media and Freeview. You've got your own show. Now, tell me what it's all about. What's the theme of it? Uh, what are the type of people who will watch it? Um, what will you be doing within that show? 
My TV show would be inspired by the kind of work that I've done over the years, which is mainly working in pubs. So it would be the banter between the bar staff and what they actually say about the customers. <clears throat> so it sounds like a potential sitcom there. I, I, am I right? It, it could possibly be that, yes. It sounds good. I'm intrigued already. I'm definitely intrigued already. Now, I mean, in terms of um, television at the moment, other television, who, who do you admire on television? If you could take over somebody's job, just push them off screen and take their show over, who would it be and why? That would have to be Susie Dent, off of Countdown. She is brilliant. She's an icon. She knows so much about words. Um, and she's just so funny with it. Yeah, I would love to take her spot. I wouldn't want to replace her, actually, because she is so good. But maybe a guest spot? Work alongside her, be, be the special guest. That would be great. Okay. okay. We're giving you an interview job now. Giving you an interview. So have a think. Have a think who you could interview. A celebrity, living or dead. Could be a sportsman, could be a politician, could be an actor, could be an entertainer. As I say, from the past or from the present, who would it be and why? It would have to be, I have to go back to Countdown, but the great Richard Whiteley. Richard, God yes. his soul. He was Countdown through and through. He even died of a nine-letter word and used all the vowels, pneumonia. And he would see the humour in that himself. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, tish. Right, I can't beat that answer. I can't beat that answer. So, uh, uh, the serious question. Here we are launching Heroin Television, local TV for Greater Peterborough and the Fenlands. Does it deserve its own local TV service? Peterborough deserves its own television show as much as anywhere else it's a multicultural city we invite people in we welcome them and everybody works here to support each other and it's a great place to live in right then Johnny what I want you to do are we down the barrel of camera two down the barrel of camera two I want you to say who you are and that you've been presenting for Heriwood TV at the Peterborough Beer Festival Deep breath. Right. Here you go. Hi there. I'm Johnny Bimbags, and I've been presenting Heriwood TV from the Peterborough Beer Festival 2015. Have fun. Thank you. Round of applause must be. Thank you, sir, Johnny. That's terrific. We've been... ...television and our various formats. Formats that you can be part of, you can develop, and you can encourage us to make. So, Evie, who is our next auditionee? Alex, I've got a wonderful treat for you. I've got the very beautiful Abby Preston. Abby's a sales assistant, and she's from Peterborough. Oh, it is so generation game. Hello. Nice to meet you, Abby. Nice to meet you. Right, uh, we, we've given you a little glimpse of the questions. Yeah. So, uh, t tell me, tell me a little bit more about yourself. I mean, w w what do you like in music? What do you like in television? Well, I, d I am partial to a bit of reality TV. I've got, I can't lie. <laughs> um, in music, I, I like quite a lot of music, really. I'm, I'm not really stuck to a certain genre. If I like it, I like it. I'll listen to, I'm open to anything, really. But um, with my TV, I do like, I like documentaries, documentaries as well. Uh, but mainly reality TV. <laughs> right, well, we're doing reality TV here right now. So, uh, I mean, in terms of what you might uh, get involved with on our Heroid TV, uh, I'll tell you what we're looking at. Let, let's, let's sort of envision the future. Let's say it's a year from now, okay. and you can be presenting your own show okay. on Heroid Television. So tell me, what style of show would it be? What would it be about, and what would you get up to? Oh my, oh. well I must say, I would love to bring back blind date kind of thing. I love all that. I love um, Take Me Out and what Paddy McGuinness does. That's really fun. I just like fun things really and light-hearted, just a laugh. Yeah. Right, oh, game for a laugh. There's another show we could bring back. Um, so 
let, let's let's talk sort of um, who you admire on television. If you could have anyone's role on television, uh, you know, just step in, push them out of the way, and take over from them, who would it be? Um, it's not really just one person. I really admire Anton Deck. Um, I know there's two of them, but I just love what they've achieved you know with the whole public everyone admires them you can say their names to anyone and everyone knows who they are they've just built such a massive empire of ant and deck everyone knows them so probably i mean that would be a dream to be on their level um, but it's a good good people to look up to i guess so yeah right ant and deck in one it's certainly saving some cash that's the good exactly. thing about it so uh <laughs> now now, let, let's say you get the chance to interview anybody from, from history or from the present day. Uh, tell me who you'd like to interview and why. Well, um, she's not alive now, but I absolutely would love to interview Marilyn Monroe. I just think she's such an interesting person. I'd love to just sit down and have a chat with her and say, you know, how do you cope with all like, the pressure that you're under and the massive fame that you've built, you know, it's... I'd love to just sit down and talk to her. I think she'd have a lot to say and it would be interesting. Um, yeah, I can't really think. I think if it was for a present, I'd love to interview Victoria Beckham um, because, I mean, she's come from just a pop, pop band, a very successful one, but then she wanted to be, to be taken seriously in the fashion industry and she's gone above and beyond and she's so successful now and she's respected in the fashion industry. So, yeah. Well, that's good stuff. That's good stuff, Abby. Our final set question here. Uh, Heriwood Television, looking to be the local TV station for Greater Peterborough and the Fenlands. Uh, why do you think this area deserves its own local TV station? Well, I just think you never, you never hear of Peterborough, do you, anywhere? You, you literally never hear of it. We've not got any radio stations left really for Peterborough so it'd be great to have our own you know put our own stamp on it and make the most of it yeah that sounds good that sounds good right now the fi final sort of a uh, little application we need here uh, camera two here just need you to stare down the lens and I, I need uh, you to tell the people at home who you are okay. the fact that you're reporting for Heriwood television at the Peterborough Beer Festival are you ready Heriwood Television at the Peterborough Beer Festival. So here you go. Hi, I'm Abby Preston and I'm reporting for Heriwood Television at the Beer Festival. Thank you, bye. <laughs> That's fantastic. Abby, thank you very much. You. you get your special, special Heriwood badge, which uh, is unique to those who have volunteered. So, so thank you for being a wonderful interviewee. And as they say, we'll be in touch. Here's Evie to escort you off stage. Uh, well, and I believe uh, Evie has uh, somebody else for me to now interview. They're coming thick and fast now, which is what we're looking for. And uh, Eve, Evie will come and introduce the gentleman to us. Evie. Hi, Alex. Well, we've got Devon Murray, unusual name, fabulous name for television. He's currently a manager and he lives in Fletton. This is getting so generation game, isn't it? There, sit down there. Oh, Oh, good game, good game, yes. Right, okay, Devon, welcome along. We'll do the formal handshake. So, t tell me, where do you live and um, what's your occupation? Uh, I, live, I live in Fletton. lived in Fletton for the last four years. I was in Hampton beforehand and uh, I work at a food factory in Huntingdon. Okay, okay, so in the right area to be a Heriwood TV type of person. And uh, f first question I'm going to ask, as you can see, we're, we're doing set questions on this. If... We were to look ahead. Heriwood Television is now on air. Uh, you're presenting a show. Tell me, what sort of show would it be about? Uh, what would the content be? And what would your role within that be? Uh, it'd be music. Uh, I, I love music. And uh, one of my friends that was a local, uh, local um, he's now, he was in JLS. And uh, I'd love to do the music background, get him involved and uh, possibly bring a bit of music back to uh, Peterborough. Excellent, excellent. So, so do, you, do you follow a lot of the, the local bands and, and, and see what the action is? No, not at the minute. No, I don't. And I'd love to get into it. Uh, I live obviously just around the corner from Charters and Charters do a lot of uh, local, local bands and stuff. And I'd love to get involved with that, yeah. Terrific, terrific. So if I was to ask you, who do you admire on television? If you could have somebody's job on TV, whose job would it be and why? Dermot O'Leary. Dermot O'Leary, okay. Why Dermot? He's, he's just got the swag, hasn't he? He's brilliant. He's, he's great. And 
he brings uh, to the X Factor and stuff. He just brings the crowd in as well, as well as obviously the X Factor is massive. But Dermot's so good, he'd be a great presenter. To, it's a, a great role model. He'd be fantastic. Okay, let's let's go into the world of fantasy here, or maybe it won't be fantasy. It depends on who you choose. Let's think of um, any celebrity, any uh, famous person, living or dead. And there you are, you're on Heroin TV with the opportunity to interview them. So who would you interview and why? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson purely for the fact that he's just an unbelievable singer. He's such an inspiration to a lot of people and it'd be, great, it'd be a huge privilege just to sit there with him in person and ask him so many questions about his life and about his music. It'd be brilliant for myself as well. It'd be myself, it'd like for myself to obviously see uh, and hear what he's, what he's done in his life and his music career is unbelievable. Such an inspiration. That's good stuff, good stuff. Right, final question. The ordeal is almost over, Devon. So, Harrowwood Television setting out to be the local TV station for Peterborough. Why does Greater Peterborough and the Fenlands deserve its own local TV station? The place is building and it's building, it's, it's growing rapidly and there's a lot more attraction to Peterborough now than what there was about 10 years ago. So, and the population within Peterborough now is so popular for different cultures, different people, and I think it'd be great to publicise that and obviously bring it out and draw more people into Peterborough. I think it'd be fantastic. Sounds a good, succinct answer to me. Now then, your final, final task, camera two here, look down the barrel of camera two, say who you are and that you're reporting for Heriwood Television at the Peterborough Beer Festival. Hi, my name's Devon Murray and I'm reporting live at the Beer Festival at Peterborough. What was it? For Herod TV. Oh, we'll give you a second chance to do that. Take two, stand by. Okay, deep breath, deep breath. Here we go. My name is Devon Murray and I'm reporting live at the Beer Festival in Peterborough for Herod TV. That'll do nicely, my man. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll find you. We'll find you a special badge. I'm and still here to tell me who is coming next is Evie. Hello, Alex. Well, I've got Jade Cawthorn for you. Jade's from Spalding. Ask me what she does. And what does she do? And Jade is a lap dancer, but is an aspiring presenter. Well, there we go. Jade, do come join us on the seat there. There we go. Right. So, Jade, Jade, tell me, tell me, what got you into your prospective career of lap dancing? <laughs> um... It was a really boring story. Before there was a sexual license to have to do that sort of thing. It was the same thing as if you started owning a nightclub or a bar or anything like this. So job centre were allowed to advertise. I walked in one day, printed off, thought I'm tired of being unemployed. Saw it, thought, do you know what? If I don't like it, then I can always walk away. And here I am six years later. <laughs> Goodness me! Goodness me! You don't look old enough to have be six, be six years in the profession. But there we go. I'm I'm started already. I've started already. Don't let the wife see this bit. Goodness me! Uh, so now let let us picture the future. Heriwood Television is on air, and you have the opportunity to present any type of television show that you would like about any subject at all, any time of the. Uh, morning, afternoon or night, what would the subject matter be and what would your programme be like? Oh no, not a terrible question. Um, I would probably like it to be sort of like a slash between like a chat show and maybe it with a little bit of a sexual edge, obviously coming from what I'm used to and what I know quite well now. So maybe sort of a... I don't know, maybe like, oh, it's going to sound terrible speaking to a man of yourself, but uh, maybe like a more womanly sort of show. So, because a lot in my job as well, not a lot of people seem to know what it is I do and they think, oh, she's this, oh, she's that without actually knowing. So the, the, then the country's going to know a little bit more about it. Women can come on, learn about it. We could play lots of silly games and things like that. Almost like an Anne Summers party, but safe. <laughs> now that is a pitch and a half that is this is an Ann Summers party for I, I can see this late night and it's for the girls basically yeah <laughs> oh, superb stuff superb stuff. so I mean in, in terms of guests you might have on the show are there particular people you'd like to sort of get along and interview there oh well Dita Von Tees would obviously have to be on there 
but I mean, she's been doing burlesque for goodness knows how many years now. She'll obviously married to Marilyn Manson for quite a while. She's quite a high status. And she, I know she doesn't like to refer to herself as a lap dancer, but it's the same sort of thing. But even then in the show, you could start to sort of diversify and show what all the different things of like erotic dancing is. And I think she'd be swell to be on the show. She's gorgeous. And I mean, you, you mentioned dancing there and, and it's, immediately people are going to probably think of pole dancing. So, I mean, in, in terms of a potential fitness regime, you know, I, I suppose for the 21st uh, century, we forget the green goddess of old on breakfast television and perhaps may, maybe pole dancing is, is something that people can use to get fit. Oh, definitely. I've got so many friends that use it to get fit. A lot of them are better than I am, and I'm obviously in the profession for it. But as you say, I mean, there are young girls now doing it, and it's not a sexual thing whatsoever. You slap on a leotard or whatever. It's all about strength. You get bigger girls on Britain's Got Talent. I know recently there was a, a young lady, and she was absolutely amazing. But people do need to accept it more as a sport rather than like a sexual thing. So, my word, we might be looking at pole dancing perhaps in the Olympics, maybe. Well, you say that, but they have been trying to get it into the Olympics for a little while now. And I 100% the strength, the agility, like the grace of these women moving. If you've got it, if you've been practicing at something, it's still a sport. It should, they should be allowed to shine. So, one day, I really hope it is, it is going to be allowed into the Olympics. So, I mean, in terms of what we're talking about now, do, do you think that... Um, the British are still a little bit too repressed in, in their idea about love and what happens in the bedroom. Yeah, but maybe we need to sort of go with the rest of Europe and get a little bit more lovey. <laughs> a bit more lovey? Oh, I do lovey, darling. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, a little bit more lovey as in sort of like, so what's in the bedroom stays in the bedroom and then that's that. But then things that were once, I mean, strip clubs, things like that were once upon a time a bit of a shameful thing. Everybody was in there with like big coats and nobody knew. But now you get stag dudes going, birthdays, it's more of a sort of day-to-day -day thing. Like, oh, I went to strip club last night. Oh, did you have a good time? It's nothing, nothing bad. So one day I'm hoping that things like pole dancing, I mean, anything like that. You see a lady in a bikini, you don't think, oh my goodness, she's wearing a bikini. So I'm hoping one day, yeah, it will all sort of merge in and everybody will be happy. Now, in terms of your heroes, I mean, you mentioned one that obviously must be a hero in, in Evie. I mean, are, are there any other heroes that you have and admire? Hmm, I quite like Katie Price, which I know sounds like quite a bit of an obvious one. But I think the way that she's got so many children and she still maintains, I mean, what, she's a chat show host, singer, model. She's got her own equestrian range. I think she's doing fantastic for herself. And I've seen her on Big Brother. I didn't want to watch it, but I did. <laughs> uh, I thought she was so down to earth. She really cared. She does take her health quite seriously. But so, yeah, I absolutely adore her. I think she's wonderful. Well, that's an, an interesting point you raised there. I mean, you mentioned Big Brother. But, I mean, what, what TV do you make time for? Are there particular shows that are appointments to view for you? <laughs> um, a lot of the BBC Two, BBC Three programmes. So, like, uh, there was one recently on called Prostitution, What's the Harm? That sort of thing. The documentaries where you see it from the girls' point of view, the club's point of view, and it just makes things... I mean, even I, I've been working in the industry, not that industry, but the industry for a few years now, and even I was watching it and going, oh, lovely, they've done them about strippers pole dancing I like quite doc uh, ugh, excuse me I quite like documentaries about things that were almost once considered taboo and is now becoming more reality and I think you bring up a valid point there that uh, people may say that uh, the majority of the British are repressed but it's starting to come through it's start we're starting to get 21st century in this so here we are talking about Harrywood television local TV for Greater Peterborough and the Fenlands uh, do you think it's something that has a place and that people will make time for? Well, sure. I mean, people watch BBC Look North, South, wherever it is you live, to see exactly what's going on in your area. So why wouldn't you have, like, as you say, like a radio station, turn it into a television so you know what's going on and you can see it rather than just hearing it on the radio in your car. You can actually sit down in the evening, see what's going on in the area, see what's been going on in the area, so you're more in the know. Well, that's fantastic. So, Jade, if you look at uh, camera two here, uh, what I'd like to do uh, is to have you sort of say who you are, that you're reporting for Heroid Television at the Peterborough Beer Festival. Straight down the camera. <laughs> I'm Jade Cawthorn. I'm reporting for the P Peterborough Beer Festival, and I'm reporting for Heroid FM. Oh, on the telly. <laughs> we'll cover everything. <laughs> You can do it again if you want. Do it again. We'll do it here. Take, 
Okay, darling, I wish I had my clapboard. Okay, deep breath, deep breath, and action. <laughs> I'm Jade Cawthorn reporting for Herald Television at the Peterborough Beer Festival. <laughs> That's the ticket. Thank you very much, Jane. And you get your special, yes, you've uh, actually auditioned for Herald TV. So a special badge, not one available to the general public. That was great. Thank you very so, much. So part of what we're hoping to do today, tomorrow, and a little bit of Friday is to audition presenters for our various shows. And here to uh, reveal our first victim, or I should say auditionee, here is Evie Sparkle. Evie, welcome back. Hello. Hello, and I have my first victim with me. So please introduce me. Okay, this is Warren, Warren Wordsworth, and that's got to be a great name for television. And Warren has been a little bit set up by his friends, but um, he has television experience, so he's got to be great. <laughs> that's terrific. Are you all right to take a seat? We're, we're very high stalled here, I'm afraid to say, but there we go. Um, so, so what we're going to do, uh, Warren, I, I have set questions here, so it's fair to everybody. So um, t t tell, tell me a little bit about where you come from and what you do. Right, OK, well, I'm not quite local from around here, but not far away. I'm actually from, from Norwich. I've come over to, to Peterborough to visit the beer festival, specifically for the beer festival this afternoon. Uh, I'm from Norwich Camera. In fact, I'm the, the chairman of Norwich Camera. And uh, the, the reason I'm here is uh, that I've, I've not... not uh, done any presenting before, but I've been on local television to look east about Anglia and our, our local Mustard TV, which you may have heard of, which is local to Norwich. Oh yes, uh, we know Mustard TV very well. Uh, they're very well known in the area as well, from, from what I can tell. And, and they, they seem to be doing a good job. So do, do you watch a lot of Mustard? I don't watch it all that much, but it's, it's quite uh, you know, it, unusual. This is just one of the first TV stations to actually broadcast live now. It, does, it doesn't it's not on live all that much of the day, it mainly for news bulletins in the evenings and a few programmes and they do quite a lot on the local sport and things like that. So uh, yes, Mustard TV is coming on fairly well. They've even done a couple of live football matches at Carrow Road just before the season started. So yes, Mustard TV is still in its early days yet, but um, hoping for good things, great things later on with it, when once it gets more, more bedded in, I think, yes. I think it's certainly one that uh, Harrywood Television can aspire to be yes. because they certainly seem to be making uh, the impact. I have relatives over in the area who, who speak very highly of it as well. So um, effectively, we'll start with our four key questions. And first one is, uh, what sort of show you'd like to be part of on Harrywood TV? What sort of format and what would it be about and what sort of things would you do? Well, I'm not really sure. So, and until I came here, until about 10 minutes ago, I didn't even know I was coming on this uh, programme. So I suppose, really, if I was doing on the presenting, if I was presenting, I don't think I, don't think I ever really will be a presenter, but probably some sort of chat show similar to what we're having now, I think would probably be the sort of thing I, I, I'm best used to. Uh, I like watching sports, so maybe I might become a commentator of some sort, possibly. I don't really know. I've never attempted to try it, but uh, it'd be that sort of thing, I would imagine. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, I'm a... I must admit, straight away you said uh, being part of camera, uh, I, I always felt that uh, there, there is definitely the space uh, in the schedules for a program literally about uh, beer. Well, that's a possibility. I'd never thought about that. Certainly Mustard TV have never gone down that road yet. Maybe I'll advise that for them. Uh, a program about pubs, breweries and beer matters uh, would possibly be a very good idea. And if that were so, then whether it be on Harrywood TV, Mustard TV, or any other TV station, of uh, these new local stations, that would be a good idea, particularly as the stations like Harrywood, and I keep going back to our own Mustard, they're just local to the area. So things about local pubs in your own town and city would be ideal, where a national television company wouldn't be able to do that, because obviously people in Peterborough wouldn't want to know about pubs in Bristol or Manchester or Glasgow. Likewise, if Bristol had a television channel, they'd want us to know about pubs in Bristol. As you had a, had a television channel here in Peterborough, you could have a, you know, concentrate on pubs around the Peterborough and the immediate area, and that would have a local interest, and people would be probably more would probably be quite interested in that sort of thing. You could bring along local brewers, publicans, and uh, other people related to the beer industry to come along and talk. That would be quite an interesting thing. Yes, uh, it's a good idea. That yes. 
It's strange you should say that because you've more or less described uh, a show that we did prior to last year's uh, beer festival here uh, for the radio station around here, Peterborough FM. It was called the Peterborough Social. And literally everything you've just described there was, was part of the format. So great minds think alike, obviously. Um, anyway, uh, talk generally about television now and, and, and people who appear on television. Is there anyone on television you particularly admire and you, you think, yeah, they do a good job? Oh my goodness! I've had chance. If you, I've had chance half an hour ago to think, I could probably think of some names, but uh, uh, I must admit, I, I, I can't think of anyone just at the moment off the top of my head. I mean, our local TV presenters of Look East about Anglia do a fairly good job. Um, uh, I've been interviewed by some several times. Uh, I can't actually think of names right off the top of my head because too 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 short notice to to think of anybody. Well, I will tell you what, Jonathan Ross or Terry Wogan. Hmm, I'm not much of a pop person, so I, I, I'm not terribly keen on Jonathan Ross. I must admit, Terry Wogan's probably been along a lot longer, a bit more polished. Yes, yes, yeah. Although he's not not particularly a favourite of mine, but yeah, Terry Wogan's a very polished performer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. So, if I gave you the chance on an interview show right. to interview anyone, past, present, living or dead. Who who would you most like to interview and why? Well, I suppose being a, a football fan, I don't know, apologies to all Peterborough supporters, but any of the sort of Norwich players or managers would probably be interesting. But uh, be to me, it wouldn't interest people around this part of the country, or any national, certainly any any international or national, not just football uh, uh, personalities of any sort. So. Like, again, I'm not going to name individual names, but anyone who is uh, very big in the sports world, whether they be a presenter or, or actual sports manager or, 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 or an actual player or an athlete or whatever, uh, I would certainly like that. That, that. that would be something I'd be interested in, yes. So um, do I take it that um, in terms of football, you're an England fan? Yes, I am. Yes, 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 I would. So yes, I would mind... Interviewing, say, Roy Hodgson or someone like that, that would be interesting, yes. <laughs> it's about time we had a little bit of uh, p football discussion we seem to have avoided so far. Um, where, where do you stand on the sort of um, Rain, Wayne Rooney debate at the moment? I mean, he gets picked regardless of his form. Do you think that's a good idea or not? Well, Rain Rooney, yes, I understand where you're coming from. He's had a bit of a dip in form recently, in much as he hasn't scored any goals. I do watch quite a bit of live football. I think he's, he's probably just going through a, a glitch at the moment. I mean, he's still a class, he's a class act as a footballer. The fact he hasn't scored, was it, nine, ten games or whatever it is, I think it's just one of those things that all good strikers go through. Uh, I'm sure, given time, I, I, I bet by the end of the season, he'll have little notched up goals into double figures for Manchester United come the end of the season. I'm not going to predict he's going to score in the next two or three games. He may go two or three more games without scoring. But come the end of the season, he'll have scored quite a lot of goals. And it's not just his goal scoring as well. He lays on lots of goals for other people. So uh, I don't think there's any problem about picking him either for Manchester United or for England, no. Well, it seems to be Van Gaal now, in terms of Manchester United, he's favouring playing him right up top. So, I mean, it, do you think that's the right tactic with Rooney? Um, as I'm not, I, I don't follow Manchester United that well. I mean, he, he, he's, 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 playing, he's been playing a bit sort of slightly wide or sort of slightly behind rather than as that, that striker. I mean, some people are saying that he's better as a actual front, front runner rather than just behind. Uh, I, I'm not really quite sure of that, but, but, but maybe he might be sl played slightly out of position. I, I just don't know. It is, it is, there is a possibility there, yes, yes. Righto. Well, uh, we've we've mentioned um, the famous person to interview, so anything football, basically. So my, my final uh, question for you, and obviously this this is a, a little bit biased towards people uh, from the Peterborough conurbation, yeah. but uh, um, per perhaps you can relate it towards Mustard TV. Uh, why do you think um, the Great Peterborough area and the Fenlands around it deserve its own local TV station? Right, well, it's like, like any individual area. Uh, Peterborough is quite a long way from other big cities around the county, uh, not quite so much as Norwich, but to a certain extent similar. You haven't got anywhere uh, close by, and uh, 
So people in Peterborough are not going to be interested in shows that are probably based by the London, London area, London home counties area, which is a bit too far away. The you know, other nearest area is the East Midlands, and you, I wouldn't say anyone in Peterborough would relate particularly to the East Midlands. But people in Peterborough are in, in their own Finland area, and uh, other, other TV companies probably can't cover for the Peterborough area. And so it's important that the people in Peterborough has uh, probably got a city about the size of my own city, Norwich, with several hundred thousand people if you include the towns around Peterborough. And uh, I think it's important uh, that they have their, their own voice, and their own television and radio stations that cover their local area for their local interests. Righto. Um, the final bit of business, that's camera two over there. So if you look into camera two, if you just once again, Warren, say who you are and that uh, you're reporting for Heriwood TV from the Peterborough Beer Festival. Uh, right. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, my name is Warren Wordsworth. Um, I'm, visit I'm on Heriwood TV this afternoon. Uh, I'm a visitor from the Norwich area, uh, uh, presumably the Camera Beer Festival. I'm the camera chairman of Norwich Camera. And uh, 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 thanks to everyone in Peterborough for allowing me to come onto your station. And if I can allow just one little plug, our own Camera Beer Festival in Norwich, is that I think it starts the 25th, 26th of October for a week. Uh, we get lots of people from the Peterborough area. Please come to our Norwich Festival. And thank you everyone from Peterborough for listening. Warren, thank you very much for your audition. That is super stuff. This is Alex G with Warren Wordsworth auditioning to be a presenter on Heriwood Television.